Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. Doctors across the nation are predicting a bad flu season this year. Cases are already seeing an uptick across the nation, but here locally there's also a new trend. Local health experts are seeing an increase in flu vaccinations. News Santana Fullman is in the studio with what you can expect this flu season. With the COVID-19 pandemic being at the center of attention for the past couple of years, the seasonal flu was at the back of everyone's minds. But now local health experts are encouraging you to take extra precautions this year to stay healthy and safe. I am here today to get a flu shot. Judy Browning is just one of boost. many Terre Haute residents getting prepared for what health experts are calling a potentially bad flu season. I'm doing all I can to protect me and and anybody I'm around. Health experts say we are in for a bad flu season this year because of how our behaviors have changed recently. This is the first year for many places to see minimal to no COVID restrictions, like masking up in public, social distancing, and so on. They say this helped bring COVID cases down, but also flu cases. Our flu numbers are coming back up just because everyone is back out in the community, doing things, going to events, having school, sporting events, that kind of thing. But local pharmacist Courtney Beardsley says that's not the only thing rising right now. There's been more people coming out to get vaccinated. At JR Pharmacy in Terre Haute, Beardsley says the interest in flu vaccinations is becoming more popular. But the same can't be said for other parts of the nation, which are seeing a significant decline in flu vaccines, making Terre Haute stand out. Beardsley says this is something the city should be proud of. We're thrilled to be part of the solution to getting everybody out, being active as safely as possible. Right now, the CDC is recommending a flu shot for anyone six months or older. Health experts say getting your flu shot is not just to keep you safe, but everyone around you. It's for the whole community, helping keep our more vulnerable populations safe, especially young and immunocompromised or older populations who are more likely to become very ill or hospitalized. And Judy Browning says she hopes you will consider getting your flu shot too. And it's supposed to be a bad season, real rough, so y'all better get out and get your shots. Health experts say the best time to get your flu shot is now. You can do so by visiting vaccines.gov to find a flu shot provider near you. Reporting in the studio, Hannah Fullman, News 10.